uh, restart. Uh, I, 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 am, I am a master student. I working on a radio telescope project here in Brazil. And uh, my, my task is to reconstruct a redshift uh, of a far away of, uh, objects. And I will tell you how I do this. Um, first, you had to know what is redshift. Uh, to, uh, to understand what is redshift, you have to record what is the Doppler effect. Uh, the Doppler effect is the changing frequency of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the, uh, the wave source. Uh, one example of Doppler effect shift is the change of pitch heard when a bus sounding a horn approaches and recedes from an observer. Compared to the emitted frequency, the received frequency um, is higher during the approach, and we it's identical when they sense it pass, it, it's passing by us. And it's low, it is lower during the recession. Uh, redshift is the light version of this phenomenon. And uh, you, you experience it all the time. And we, we, can, we can see, if you look at the sky, we, 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 we know that, 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 that there is blue, the blue stars and uh, red stars. Uh, the, uh, the red stars are far away from us than the bluest ones. And because we have, we have this in the color spectrum, spectrum. This frequency is, this frequency is higher than this. And uh, when we see a uh, um, celestial object that there, there, there is red, it means that it is uh, moving far away from us in the expanding universe. This, this is this is why we this is one main reason we study uh, this, this thing because we want to know that if the universe is expanding or if it, it, it is contracting or if it is stationary. When uh, we, the rubble constant is, is a number that measures uh, how, uh, how the universe is expanding. And um, the rumble number is calculated uh, measuring the the, uh, the redshift. There are two main approaches to uh, to uh, know uh, the redshift of a, a star. We can do a data driving analysis. Uh, is that what I do? And we can do a temp template fit analysis uh, using physics theory. I don't know physics theory because I am a mathematician uh, and I in my research I do I use that data and use machine uh, two machine learning methods to study this phenomenon. If you use uh, machine learning methods we have to have a training set and which we, we Privileges know where, what is what is the right redshift um, to, to uh, um, we have two kinds of data uh, use, uh, we use in our training set we use spectroscopic redshift and photo z redshift a spectroscopic, uh, spectroscopic redshift you refer to the measurement of radiation intensity, intensity as a fu function of a wavelength, and uh, we, we use it to describe um, the, 
all the way, uh, all the spectro, all, all, all the intensity of all um, electromagnetic uh, of all bands of our atom of or of our stars. We have uh, infrared information. We have all all the all the all the all the colors information and a bunch. Uh, Gay, gay, uh, gamma ray uh, information, and we, it's it's a, a complete it's a more complete analysis of uh, of an object. Or, or it, it could be it, it can be an atom or it can be a, a star. But photos the redshift. It's um, so just some colors. So some we can just. How uh, is the intensity of um, re red, um, yellow, blue, and infrared in the stars? There are many system. There, there are many system of photos of red shift. Uh, it, it, uh, it it depends on the survey and the data you you analyze. Analyze. Um, for example, I use. Pen stars data, which uh, have five colors, uh, we we call this colors um, magnitudes, and we we uh, compare the uh, this uh, photos the red shift we have with five colors, with all, all the beams of the spectroscopic data we have in our training set. But um, frequently we have. Um, um many sources many sources of uncertainty and um, some of them are there uh, we have uh, a la lack of inputs on tra to training uh, because we it will, when we do this analysis we have the ma map of skies and we and it is divided in pixels but uh, it, 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 we can okay, we can have but we are comparing um spectroscopic uh, data to um redshift to one and there there are some missing galaxies in one or another and we we have uh, because uh we have what we compare two server to surveys to to match our training uh, set, but we have também the uncertainty the, the, uh, of the different algorithms algorithms we use, and we have an incomplete training sets because we are dealing with um, a, a very a, a very sensitive uh, data. That, that there is a, there that 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 could be in, incomplete uh, and and you depend on the survey you are working on. Um, here in, in my work, I use two of the most popular uh, astronomical a uh, softwares uh, for doing this. I use GPZ and ANNZ2, and the 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 first um is um approach that use gaussian processes to estimate a photometric redshift and we are focused on the on the variance of the set because um we, our our our, our da data has m m m uh, has a bunch of errors and we have to use st uh, statistical analysis because uh the uh because the source of the of your research is far far away we have to we do, don't have a, a good precision on it and the the, the second we uh, use is a an easy two that is the is an updated version of the original algorithm which use neural networks and a yeah, and boosted uh, decision and regression trees. Does it? Does anyone have a question? Hello. 
Hello. Hi, I'm Francesca Tedeschi and uh, I have just come. So I was wondering if you could uh, resume briefly the core of your work. Um, and I work uh, uh, with reconstruction of uh, uh, photometric redshift. Do you know what is a redshift? Um, yes, in general, but <laughs> okay, if you can explain uh, something else. Uh, do you, uh, are, are you, uh, are you astronomer or something um, like that? No, I work in the field of computational fluid dynamics, so totally another field, and I'm a beginner in Python, so um, a ba very basic notion, notions in astronomy. Oh. Uh, I, I will ex I will try to explain what I do because uh, I, I'm still learning about it. I am a mathematician and I work I'm mean working uh, in in a uh, cosmology group and and I'm doing uh, this uh, in my ma my master thesis and to understand what a redshift is uh, you have to record what is the Doppler effect. And the uh, you know uh, when you are we, there there is a bus uh, near to you, um, there there is a there is a change of pitch pitch heard when a uh, when this bus sounding a horn approaches and receives from you. Uh, compared to the emitted frequency, uh, the emitted frequency of the wa the wave is higher during the approach and when and it's lower during the reception redshift is the light version of this phenomenon and we experience it, uh, it all the time with sound you have um, you can uh, see this uh, with, with this uh, where we have here blue and we have here red the frequency is is high uh, of the light when we are here uh, in, in the in the in the blue, and we uh, as we go, uh, the frequency of the light is lower, uh, reaching red. So when you see uh, a, a star that is red, uh, it, it's bluer than other. It's uh, more near. Uh, it's more near than, than, than that. Why, why, we, uh, why we study this thing? Because we want to know if the universe is expanding or if it, if it is contracting or if, if it is doing nothing. We have, uh, we have some evidence that the uh, universe is expanding. And the measure of uh, redshift uh, allows us to uh, measure this uh, using uh, a thing called rubble constant and uh, this is one main reason we study this this thing um there are two main approaches we use when we are measure a uh, redshift we can do a a, a, a data analysis uh, that is what what we, i do because I don't know uh, enough physics to do a template fit analysis. Uh, they, they use uh, um, he heavy uh, physics theory. And I, um, I, in my research, I use uh, machine learning techniques. Uh, there, there are many, there are many uh, uh, machine learning softwares that, that we can use in, uh, for, uh, for it, but I, I use uh, specifically two source. I use a uh, GPZ that use Gaussian process, and I use uh, ANNZ2 that that there is um and use neural networks and bo boosted decision trees. Um, um, but but to do our uh, but to do this we have to have our training set. Uh, uh, 
because of this, we, ha we have the spectroscopic redshift and uh, photos and redshift. What is the difference between the two? The difference is that photos and redshift has, uh, have, has many, um, as um, just uh, five colors, six colors, uh, it's colors that we actually see, uh, except the infrared. But uh, spectroscopic redshift is all the, it's all the bands of the spectroscopic, all the bands of the spectrum. And uh, it, include, uh, uh, it includes X-rays, uh, gamma rays, and uh, a, a variety of um, different uh, bands of the spectrum of the, the atom, it, it, it's used in atom analysis and use, it's used in stellar analysis. So um, we have a, a lot of difficulties when we are doing this because we have a, 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 a very uncertain um, source. We have frequently, we have incomplete training sets we have uh, the uncertainty in the algorithm we use, and we have uh, a, a lot of uncertainty in, in our in inputs of training. And because of this, we, we do not use a package like scikit learning TensorFlow directly. We use it, we use that, but I, we use that uh, uh, in some way we can uh, get, um, uh, what, what, it's variance because we have uh, we, we 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 work uh, we, we, with uh, some uncertainty and, and of the redshift because we can we cannot uh, because uh, because uh, we have this uh, uncertain source and we cannot uh, have the exactly result. Uh, this is why we have uh, we work uh, with. Uh, a specific softwares uh, we, which are described by um, academic papers. Uh, in my work, I use uh, this, this two, uh, 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 GPZ and ANN2. Do you have uh, uh, some questions? Um, yeah, I have no experience about, the, about uh, these two softwares. Uh. Uh, but I was wondering, because my work is about uh, reconstruction in medical imaging, and uh, so do you do a sort of uh, reconstruction uh, process? My, uh, my, my, my data is, is, is not, uh, it's not image, it's, it's, a, uh, it's um, a number. Uh, you, we, it's the measure intensity of some uh, some color. It's not, okay. it's not the um, the image of the stars. Yes. Do you do you uh, know SSD? Uh, we uh, I work with uh, two services. Uh, uh, they are available on the internet. Uh, I cannot um, find the the chat. But if you if you if you search, you can you can find them. Uh, it's ten stars with P A N N stars and S D S S. 